Hello guys, my name is JP, and welcome back, I suppose, to Plague Inc. Uh, today we're going to do something special. It's a special edition of Plague Inc, if you will. I can't imagine what we're going to do today. What is this? ATP boost, isn't it? Oh, okay. Okay. Zero file. I forget which this one is. Yes. A good one and since they updated i lost all my my stuff for it but we'll play anyways we'll do it on normal i suppose what are we doing though today ebola um let's see let's find oh man I have to pick a place. I'm trying to find. Uh, hold on. I guess anywhere in Africa is fine. They don't really know where Ebola started. Like as far as uh, in real life. Let me make certain of this though. Ebola. God, it's like nothing but news. Like you cannot search Ebola right now without it not without it being a. Uh... Oh man. Come on. So the Congo. Well, at least now it's the Congo. It used to be other things, which is, I believe, this one here. Well, yeah, this one just counts it as part of Central Africa, so that's fine, I guess. It's just in this area is where it started. So that's where we'll start. Pop bowls. So let's, let's watch it do its thing. Ebola will destroy the world. At least that's what the news would make you think. Let's get some transmission going. Ebola is bloodborne. So we'll see what happens there. Very slowly starting out. That's not what we want. We're not even five minutes in and it's already mutating on its own. It's going though. Somehow. Let's see. That'll cost 15. Okay, we'll wait for that. I picked a pretty terrible starting location. Stop with the insomnia, seriously. Go. Go, virus, go. Oh yeah, it's going fast now. Now 
Now, when I get enough points here, uh, we'll start. Uh, Ebola does not cause cysts of all things. We'll go with like uh, coughing. We'll make it like a flu, really, like like it is in real life. It starts out like a flu, and then next thing you know, you're bleeding from everywhere and dying. Well, we got a million people. Oh man, this thing just took off on me. Ten million. Twenty million. I don't know if it gives rashes. I'll I'll go with that one though. Mm, sneezing. Oh man, this thing's going crazy now. Hundred million people. That's significant. One thing that would make sense in the game, like as you play it, maybe it should uh, like remember things that you've done. It does give you a fever, I'll go with that. Like after you've played through multiple times, like maybe it should be uh, harder to do the same thing. Like they recognize the symptoms and it responds to it. A little bit faster, if you know what I mean. Like we do in real life, it's not like we know about sicknesses and stuff. Oh, this is going nuts. I don't know if mosquitoes can carry it. I know like animals can, so I'm gonna go with those. Pneumonia? I don't think it gives you pneumonia. We'll go with it though. Um, let's check some of the abilities. No, that's terrible. We want like drug resistant. going though it's almost at a billion people it seems to kind of be slowing down it's really insisted on that insomnia thing so let's go back and check the abilities drug resistant Genetic hardening. To make it somewhat realistic, that's what we need to do is like super pump up on those. The drug resistant and genetic hardening. Nope, I guess we gotta go to the big map now because it's. It's getting there. My only worry is that it's, it's too deadly for its own good. Yeah, people are gonna start shutting stuff down pretty quick soon. Pretty quick soon? Pretty quick. So go ahead and get that. Oh no, Ebola has gone airborne. No, we're, we're gonna try to keep it real. 
I said. Isn't there sneezing here somewhere? I already got it. Which ones do I have? Which ones can I buy? Here. You're sweaty. This is looking pretty bad. For them, not me. I'm doing alright. Nausea. It's one hell of a flu. Oh my god. 43 points. You can take, uh... That one, at least. Man. No shit, it's becoming unstoppable. Russia wants to start some shit, apparently. I will reshuffle this on you if you even think about getting close. We haven't even gotten to the good symptoms yet. trying to kind of trying to get it to play a little bit like I usually play like I tend to uh, like play in a way that uh, they don't notice me this is like complete opposite this I've just let it go seems to be working out Alright, I'm um, gonna have to reshuffle. I don't know if it actually gives you diarrhea, but we'll count that as, uh. as a hay. It's. you're shooting blood, it's gotta count for something. I think I need to take, uh. Um, cold resistance though. I'll screw with them. Paralysis? Wow, that is random. Yeah, it's gonna start killing a lot of people really quick. Damn, it's not hitting Greenland. Because if they shut down their their seaport. It's game over. I will have lost. I think it needs more cold resistance. But it's not really spreading in Russia either. Necrosis? Yeah, it's a bull, alright. Well, apparently Egypt is screwed. surprised they're able to keep up with it, considering how much it's mutating. Like, seriously, they're going really fast now. I'm gonna have to do a reshuffle again. I'll take both. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get, uh, Greenland.
so there you have it. If you want to, uh, if you want to survive this Ebola nightmare in real life, go move to Greenland because apparently it will not be infected. I was going to say, their cure research got to be slowing down, because it's... There's like nobody left. Greenland got out fine. So did Sweden somehow. Oh, never mind. Russia's... Ooh, Russia's gone. I found a good balance, though. It seems to spread a little bit faster than it kills, which is good. Symptoms. More immune suppression. Uh, where is hemorrhagic fever? Emergic shock. Close enough. Sure, take that too. Oh, just give me all the things. Kill everybody! Oops, symptom combo. Sneezing and diarrhea are causing unwanted accidents. Lowing productivity and drawing attention to Ebola. Yeah, that's a big whoops. No dice on Greenland, though. Yeah, the port's closed, so that's the end of that. Got everybody else, though. I think. Yeah, just Greenland. That's because, just like in real life, I didn't go with uh, airborne or waterborne. Ebola is just a, a bodily fluids transmitted virus. So, as much as you can really... It has to be spread by people, or animals anyways. So, in real life, it's really hard to get it. It's both hard to get it and not hard to get it. Like, if you take basic precautions, like wash your hands regularly don't let people sneeze on you um, avoid places that are ridiculously crowded like where you know like if you go into this place and think man I feel like I'm gonna get sick in this place you don't want to be there like a subway uh, airports stuff like that but yeah we had a pretty good run well not really but we did try. Uh, we did. We did. They didn't cure it at least, so we had that. We just couldn't get Greenland. But anyways, that'll do it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little random Ebola episode. And thank you for watching. My name is JP, and I will see you next time with more Play Inc.